2021, let's go. Hi everyone, it's Chris Hansen here, Senior Solutions Consultant from Adobe, and it's 2021, and I'm here to give you one of the latest updates in Premiere Rush, and that is the latest addition to Pan and Zoom, where you can now select your start and end points. So if you haven't already updated your Premiere Rush, make sure you go ahead and do that, and you're looking for version 1.5.40. Now, when you go ahead and update that, you'll notice Premiere Rush will automatically apply the pan and zoom effect straight to the images. Now in order to turn this effect off, you have to go up to effects, motion, pan and zoom and turn the effect off right here. When you apply pan and zoom to your still images, it will allow you to get more greater control and customization. Specifically, you can now control the area where the pan and zoom starts and ends and you do this by changing the scale and the position of both the start and end boxes right within the program monitor as you can see here so now premiere rush gives you that greater control and accuracy where you can decide where to choose your start and end point for any still image and you can do that for every image as you go along so go in have a play and let me know what you think and guys that's it just a real quick video of the latest update in premiere rush go ahead and update your applications to give it a try and if you like this video hit that like button can you guys hear those birds seriously and if you want to see more of course hit the subscribe button and remember never stop creating do you like my rush pillow do you like it funko pop batman funko pop batman pretty cool right